This tutorial will show how to splice these two caving maps together and remove the background so it can be imported into QGIS where it will be georeferenced so the location of the purgatory system can be found. To start, I will open this map in GIMP. I will import with a resolution of 500 pixels per inch. <clears throat> Next, I need to change the canvas size so both of these images can be stacked on top of each other. To do that, I go to Image, Canvas Size, and I make the height about twice what it currently is, so 10,000 pixels. Next, I can drag this image using the Move tool beneath the one on top. Now I want to remove the white background around this picture so it can be butted up next to this one. I do that by using the Rectangle Select tool to select an area on top of the picture and clicking Delete with my keyboard. I will continue this around both this picture and the one above it. So all that is left is just the map. In order to work on the top image, you need to make sure that this layer is selected in your layer window. One nice tip while working on this is if you want to deselect your current selection on, Mac, or on PC, press Control shift a Okay, now that both images are processed, we want to join them together. To do this, grab your Move tool, zoom in on your lower image, and drag it next to this one. We want the contour lines of the lower image to match with the ones above it. Once we are happy with our abutal of both pictures, we can flatten the image and export as a PNG. To flatten the image, right click on your top layer and select Merge Down. This creates one single layer for your project. To export as a PNG, go File, Export As, select File Type, and scroll down until you find PNG. Choose this good name for your image. Click Export, and then Export, and it will save a PNG to your desktop. Now that we have finished our cave map, we can open QGIS and start the georeferencing process. To start, make sure that your coordinate reference system is correct. I recommend using WGS84 for this project. To get to the georeferencer, click on Raster, Georeferencer. To open the map file, click on Open Raster in the top left and select the picture. In order for the georeferencing process to work well, we need four different coordinate points to put on our map. Because this map does not have any latitude or longitude lines, I found important landmarks on the map and used Google Maps to get their exact coordinates. To add a point, click on this box in the top and scroll in on your landmark. Where these roads intersect, I chose one of my points. Now go to Google Maps and find that point on the map. Click on the point to get the coordinates. Remember the X value in QGIS is the longitude. So copy that from Google Maps and input it into the X box. Do the same for the Y value. I'll show the same process for another point. 
my next landmark is this quarry up on the mountain. Drop your point in the middle of a landmark. Go to Google Maps. Find the quarry. Get your point. Copy the longitude, which is the X value. Paste it into the X window. Do the same for the latitude, which is your Y value. And click OK. Once we have all four points and put it into the system, we want to make sure our settings are correct. Go to Settings, Transformation Settings, and click Thin Plate, thin plate Spline for your transformation type. Make sure your target SRS is correct, which is WGS84. Click your location for the output raster, and finally make sure that you have load into QGIS1 done selected. Once your settings are collect, correct, click OK, and you can run the georeferencer. Now that it's in QGIS, we can make sure it's correct by grabbing the open street map and putting it into our layer window. Just drag it beneath it so it is visible on top. It looks like we did a good job as these lines line up pretty well. <laughs> to find out where Purgatory Pit is on the map, we want to add a new layer. Go to Layer, Create Layer, layer New Shape File, Geometry Type Point. Choose a good name for your point and click OK. Now, right click on your new layer, click Toggle Editing, and then we can add a point. To do this, go up in your top window, click on the Add Point feature, and zoom in on the map. It looks like Purgatory System is right in the middle of these dots. Choose an ID for the point, just any number. To find the coordinates of the point we just made, we can click on the Identify Feature uh, button. The coordinates of the point are under the Derive section in the results. To find out where the actual cave is, we can copy these coordinates into Google Maps. It looks like the pin is right next to where I actually dropped the pin when I visited Purgatory Pit a couple weeks ago. Looks like we did a good job. Thanks for watching this tutorial.